Yeah, what's up, y'all? What's up? Back again. That's what's up, man. Lockout, man. That is me. I'm back with another podcast. In today's conversation, man, we're gonna we we're gonna talk about something serious. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't believe anybody have talked about it. And this is something for you new jacks to to know while coming into this game. All right. What's going on, y'all? My name's Lockout Men, and welcome to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Oh, you almost hit that truck. Damn. See, that's why it's always good to pay attention while you in the parking lot of any places that you go to, because these trucks be zooming, these cars be zooming. They don't even be paying attention to nothing like that, man. But hey, you know, that's this is on tune of what we about to talk about. As I was saying, <laughs> if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. And don't forget that all button to receive all the content. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it, y'all. But listen, we about to get into it right now, man. This is something, this is something lightweight serious. And I, I was thinking about this. When I when I was thinking of topics to talk about, you know, on the podcast and I, I went and looked and search and research and all that good stuff. And I haven't seen any YouTuber. Talk about it, you know what I'm saying? So I hope this is something that you could take to heart. And I, I hope this is something that you could take with you and use. All right. So let's uh, let's get into it, man. First, all right. Hold up right quick before I it's a part two to this video. All right. So stay tuned for part two to this video. Unfortunately, I didn't get into the topic that I wanted to talk about in this particular video because of the comment i wanted to address the comment in this video so please my apologies uh i i just went a little bit over on on how long i stayed on the on the comment uh that i was addressing in this video uh thank you for watching and stay tuned for part two. First thing first though first thing first like i said before if you like everything don't forget to do all that good stuff uh please support the channel Support the channel by commenting, by liking, you know what I'm saying? It just shows YouTube that, uh, you know, it, it just shows YouTube that you're rocking with your boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my way to 10,000, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm hoping to get there before the year is out, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I need you guys' help. I need you guys' help, man. You know, I'm I'm not coming on I'm not coming on the eBay or anything like that. I'm just I'm just you know you can support my channel just by helping me to get to ten thousand. Share with your people, man. I mean, if you're a truck driver and you know some new jacks that's coming into the game, share my channel. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe something on my channel that might be of interest. But I I, I will say this now. I want to say this as much as I like you guys, as much as I thank you for your support, there's just some people out there that just not going to like your content. They're not going to like what you have to say. They're not going to like your, your views. They're not going to like with, you know, with, with your opinion. So let me just tell you this. My opinion is my opinion. This is my platform. You know, it's just unfortunate that YouTube is the only platform. Well, it's not the only platform that you can hear me on. You can hear me on all the all the podcast platforms. You can hear me on that, too. You know, Spotify, Google, iHeart, Apple. You can hear me on all of those, too. So but. I'm, you know, I, I just want to say I don't want to have to start putting disclaimers 
Well, I do because some of the stuff that that I do ha- has to be protected. But I, I don't think I want to start putting a disclaimer on everything. But it looks like I'm going to have to. All right. So disclaimer. This is all my opinions. Not everybody is going to not everybody is going to like my opinions. Not everybody's going to like my thoughts. And there are some people here, you know, that 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 would agree to disagree on what I have to say. So before I get into before I get into I I, I want to reply to a comment that I got on uh on one of my on one of my videos there it is i want to i want to re, reply to that now i was going to i was going to reply to it you know like type it out or something like that but i figure coming on to reply to it is a is a hell of a lot better so this is from bs blaster no photo all right. No photo. BS Blaster. And I believe he has maybe like one or two subscribers. I don't I don't know. All right. So it says, so what exactly did the Caucasian man say to you the other than just looking at you? It seems to me that you have that you have the issue just because the guy looked at you. You made the statement about him looking at you. He didn't. Actually, he did. But I'll I'll get more into that. And it seems it seems this channel is turning in into very racist, bigot, bigot channel preaching and pushing racial hatred instead of doing what you originally set out to do. I really like what you started out doing with the make the calls and the other things, but somehow you have lowered your standards and are now making everything a racial or social issue. And you wonder why the country is so divided when someone looking at you brings out the response that you said. Sad. We are all working at the same job and putting up with the same shit. So why make it more than what it is because someone looked at you? All right, so let me just let me just break it down. All right. So to answer the question, all right. So what exactly did the Caucasian man say to me? It was it was a little bit more than it was a little bit more than, you know, what it was. And I didn't want to go, I did not want to go into too much detail about it because it was eradicated all right and i'm still not going to go into detail about it because it was eradicated but i will say this there's a way to talk to people and then there is a way to address people all right so while i was on the phone at the time you know if i was loud on the phone which i believe i wasn't but if if i was If I was loud at the time, okay, then you could look at me and say, hey, bro, you know, you're a little loud. Can you quiet it down a little bit? You know what I'm saying? And I would have did that. See, I'm not the person. I'm not that. I'm not that person to jump mad. You know what I'm saying? But if that was the if that was the thing. But see, dude looked at me. Like he wants to do something. Like you may not know you you may not know the look, but trust me, brothers know the look. No, no, can I? Everybody in this room know what that look mean. That look mean you want to do something to me. So I backed up. And I told him, bust a move. So, I mean, he stared at me like seriously right when he walked out the restroom all the way up until he got to the, you know, halfway to the corner. 
And I'm looking at him like, bro, you okay? Why, why are you staring at me? So he walked up on me, and I, that's when I told him, like, yo, man, back off. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, me and him had a few choice words. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah, he did say something. And I said something in return. But I didn't want to go into all of that by, you know, explaining it because I wanted to move my content on. All right. Now, to address, to address your, to address the, 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 to address what you said about my channel is turning into a racist, bigot channel. Where you see that at, bro? Where you see that at? Where where is what videos that I have done that that shows me as a racist? I mean, the last few videos that I've done was basically talk about uh to talk about and you're right, talked about the social issues that's going on. I mean, why not? I'm a truck driver and I see things out here socially. So talking about the George Floyd incident, you know what I'm saying? Having my own personal opinion on that. Talk about the incident where the young lady got smacked in the face with a skateboard. Having my own issue, having my own opinion about that. Talk about the, the, the looting and the rioting that happened in my city a couple of weeks ago. But where is the racial stuff that I talked about? I mean, all that stuff was like balanced. You know what I'm saying? What, just because I said Caucasian instead of white? I mean, call me, I, I guess I'm trying to, you know, I... I, I I'm, I'm guess I'm not trying to offend anybody, but obviously I must have offended you. OK. And if I did, I apologize. My fault. I you know, I appreciate your support. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate your support. But, bro, where where is the, the 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 racial, the racial and the bigot? And pushing racial hatred. What, where am I pushing racial hatred at, bruh? Racial hatred rare. Ain't, I'm not, number one, let me get, let me make this absolutely clear. Clear. So that you can understand me, bruh. I am far beyond a racist than anything out here, man. I'm cool with everybody of all races, colors, creed. I don't give a fuck if you're a fucking alien, dude. If you cool with me, I'm cool with you. See, that's that's just the thing, you know, that's just the thing what social media and YouTube does. You know what I'm saying? You sitting there behind the desk or behind the truck or behind the wheel and you watching me, and you you judging. You don't know me personally, bruh. You don't know me personally. You know what I'm saying? And the people that do know me personally knows that I am far from a racist than anything. My closest friend, my absolute closest friend in the trucking world happens to be white, bruh. And his name is D Nitty. That man would give me the shirt off his back as as I would give my shirt off my back for him. You know what I'm saying? But that's not just not that's I'm not just saying that because, you know, I guess you're going to turn around and say, oh, OK, well, you know, all racist people say uh, I have a black friend. I have a white friend. Nah, I have all friends. My best friend. I got two of them. One is black. One is white. Well, two is black, one is white. And then all my other white friends, I'd have white friends. But the closest friends that I have, two is black. That would be Avery Edwards and Luther Pace, who I grew up with. And D. Nitty, who I, who I came to associate with 
for the last five years in this trucking game. Me and him met at the poker tables down at downstream. And as a matter of fact, as I said before, like this trucking world was uh, was is small. He was part right next to me when he came out because I busted out at the table and all like that. And he came out. I was like, whoa, that was you, man. I was like, yeah, man. And, and, and we and we've been close ever since. We've been close ever since, man. So tell me where on my channel that I preach racial hatred. Let me know. Let me know so I so I can go back and correct all of that. All right. Now, you said you uh, you like what I do, what I was doing when I set out to do. I, you know, I flip flopped on my channel many a times. And, you know, it's it's a niche that I'm trying that at that particular time I was trying to find. And I guess I found it with the make the call videos. And I do appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people got interested when I started calling different companies and talking to, you know, talking to the recruiters about the recruitment process and stuff like that on their companies. Now, some companies favored it. Some companies didn't favor it. OK, I at this time, like I said, I, 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 I moved. It still made the call. But instead of calling the companies, I got the drivers to call me and and talk about the companies that they drive for or they driven for. Because like you guys said before, you know, to get a better understanding of the company, you have to talk to the driver because all a recruiter is going to do is just tell you what you want to hear. So I gave it something better. So I hope you're still enjoying you know, it's not called make the call no more. It's called, you know, exposed. So, you know, not just the not just the bad, but the good, you know, not just the bad, but the good parts about the company as well. So I, I hope you're enjoying that. All right. And I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. You know, I, I put a shout out to a particular company. A driver calls me up and say, hey, I want to talk about such and such. Let's get into it. All right. All right. So you said, you also said that, uh, but somehow you lowered your standards and are making everything uh, a racial and social is, I mean, issue. No, the standards is not lowered on here, man. I'm still doing, I, I am still the same lockout men from when I first started this channel all the way up until now. I mean, there is a lot of social issues out here that that does touch me. And maybe I might be a little bit more passionate than normal. But again, like I said, it's not. I, I am not for everybody and everybody is not for me. You know, my opinions might ruffle a little feathers. And I understand that. I understand that. I really do. I understand that. You say, I wonder why the country is so divided when someone's looking at you brings the response that you said. Yeah. I mean, they, uh, brothers know, brothers and sisters know that look. We know that look. You know what I'm saying? It's that look that's not even not even for a white person, but for a black person, too. You know what I'm saying? They stare at you. They give you the stare like, I don't like this guy. And I want to go over there and smack the shit out of him. That look. So I'm like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I mean, if I ask you a question, if I ask you a question like, yo, bro, uh, are you okay? You know, you're looking at me kind of hard. You know, you're looking at me like you want to do something. No, no, can I? Everybody in this room know what that look mean. That look mean you want to do something to me. So I backed up. And I told her, bust the move. So let me know what you want to do you know what i'm saying 
And I guess that just triggered triggered the response. I I guess you're right. I got triggered. But still, I I myself and many others know that look. You know, you you may not know that look. You, you may not you you may not been in a position of of having somebody, you know, don't, you know, that that judge you just because of who you are. Or what you're doing. There's plenty of times I've been in situations like, you know, like that. But see, I didn't jump fast, though. You know, I didn't jump fast. I wasn't even mad when I even said, when I even asked him. I just said, yo, uh, you okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, but then when he walked up on me and started giving me choice words, then it became a problem. Everybody in this room know what that look mean. That look mean you want to do something to me. So I backed up. And I told her, bust the move. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it would probably would have just better that he just kept on walking. But like I said, this it was so small that dude was parked next to me. So when I got to my truck, camera is really getting on my last damn nerves, man. But when he got to his truck, when he got to his truck, I didn't say nothing to him. I just seen him in the corner of my eye. But next thing I know, he raised down the window because we were part, we're part side by side. See, I have a tendency of like parking a little bit back. You know what I'm saying? from being eyeball to eyeball, window to window, because, you know, I, I'm the type of person that I don't want people looking in my shit. You know, like if I'm sitting up in the front or something like that. Now, if you ain't talking to me or, you know, we chit chatting, I'm cool with that. But if you're just going to sit there and just keep looking in my shit, which he was doing, then I got a problem with that. Like, bro, you okay? Like, what the fuck, man? No, no, can I? Everybody in this room know what that look mean. That look mean you want to do something to me. So I backed up. And I told her, bust the move. And that's exactly what he was doing. So, of course, you know, he pulled off, I pulled off, and we're never going to see each other again. We might see each other again. We might not see each other again. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? The country's been, divi the, the country's been divided for a long time, bro. It's been divided. It's been divided. And, I, you know, yeah, of course, I wonder about why. I already know why. <laughs> I already know why. It's been divided. It's been divided. Racial, racial injustice, racial period. But it's not divided because of that. We also have black racial injustice. And black races amongst black people, too. Just like some white people got racism against white people and racial injustice with them. It's more so, it is more so now in this millennium, it's more coming out now than it ever was. But it's been that way. You, you always have people coming on social media, speaking, speaking their truths now, showing pictures, showing, showing racist pictures and, and pre prejudice pictures and stuff like that. And they think it's funny. They think it's all right. They want to come on social media and start talking, which you don't want to do. 
You, you want to keep your opinions to yourselves when it comes to the social media. Because now people are losing their jobs, their 50, their 50K year jobs, their 60K year jobs, all because of the, of the picture that they post or, the, or whatever they decide to say. You might want to start thinking about what you what you say before you say it on social media. But again, I digress. Just like I said that this platform was mine, the platform is theirs. It's their Facebook. They can say whatever they want to say with without restrictions and probably with little consequences. You know? But now for the people that's working in that's working in big places that that they making good money at, you see now they losing their jobs because of what they say. I'm just saying. So. It says that you you say down at the bottom that. You know, we're working at the same job, putting up the same shit. So why make it more because of someone looked at you? I, I I didn't. Like I said, we all we we all in this trucking game together. We all are assholes, man. I mean, it's just it's just what it is. <laughs> let's, let's just call it what it is, man. You know, the new millennium truck drivers, the 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 truck drivers of of this time. It's different from the brotherhood of truck drivers that, that was back in the day. It is. Hold on. It is. It's different between the truck drivers of today. For real. You know. I, I guess we're all assholes out here, including myself. You know, you, you say what's up to somebody and all like that, and somebody just happened to look at you funny look at you like they want to do something, look at you because you're, you, you know, because of who you are. You know what I'm saying? Some, some of the guys just don't want to be bothered, you know. But we all are assholes out here. I, I, met, I, I met a whole handful of them. You say, you say what's up, try to be nice, you know, just a smile. If you smile, that brings that that a bring you know lightens somebody's day that's having a bad day, or something like that. You know, it happens with men, happens with women, happens with blacks, happens with whites. You know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to come on today, today to share this uh to, to share the comment, and to address it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want you thinking that my channel is a racist channel, which is not. I, I don't understand. I, I don't understand where you get that correlation from. And if so, let me know what, what videos you seen of me preaching uh, separ separation and all like that. Other than the few videos that I that I have done, you know, the George Floyd video. But I don't think. You know, I I don't think it was racially that issue or the young lady getting smacked in the face with a board. My 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 anger, my anger is more so towards the 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 violence in the protests. That's where my anger comes from. You know. I support I I, I support protesting. I support peaceful protesting. I was involved with a couple of protests that was peaceful. But I'm I'm not feeling the violence, the looting, the 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 the, the breaking in the stores, the proof of point, setting stuff on fire. I don't I don't I don't feel that. I don't feel that. Now some of the is now some of the issues was brought on by outside influences all right but it's a it's a follow it's a it's a follow me type deal okay i bust out a window follow me in and that's what it is 
Then when the news come on and and the news show, you know, one group of people, that just makes it look bad for everybody in that group. But they wasn't there to see who actually did the damage or bust into it or or whatever the case. And they didn't see the follow me at they they only came and seen the follow me aspect of that situation. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna set this car on fire. Follow me and set the rest of the cars on fire. Or I'm gonna bust out this window and loot it. Follow me, and everybody else is gonna do it. He did it, so I'm gonna do it too, and I could get away with it. The young lady, the, the young lady on the previous video got jumped by a group of black people, black kids. That was black kids. All right. They wasn't white. It was black kids. So, yeah, we got black on black violence. I'm not cool with that either, bro. I'm not cool with that. I'm not cool. I'm I'm not cool with 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 violence at all. That's why I said we all need to come together. We need to we need to be better. We need to act better. We need to show better. You know? Slap hands. So that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to come on and uh address that very quick. You know. So thank you. I, I really do appreciate everybody watching, everybody listening, everybody supporting the channel. You know, I, I appreciate your comments. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, your your comment kind of kind of touched me and I wanted to address it. And I figured coming on addressing it this way would have been a lot better than me trying to type out a whole paragraph <laughs> i i understand you had the time to do that so i really do appreciate you all right all right now hey like i said before i'm i'm not for everybody man i'm not I, i'm i'm just not for everybody it's like shrimp i'm an inquired taste you either like me or you're gonna hate me but i'm like what guilty said you definitely gonna feel me you know so if you still support my channel thank you very much i really do appreciate it and if you decide to unsubscribe i i, I hate to see you leave all right all right so thank you very much y'all my name is lockout man i really do appreciate the time that you guys took with me to stay you know stay to the end and all that good stuff if you like content like this and more don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell and that all button for all the content that will come straight to you when i drop videos all right all right don't forget to look me up on all the podcast uh platforms thank you for watching thank you for listening I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Y'all have a blessed day. Stay chill and peace out. No, no, can I? Everybody in this room know what that look mean. That look mean you want to do something to me. So I backed up. And I told her, bust a move.